Hi, my name is Pam Sherritt and I'm the Sports Turf Specialist at The Ohio State University. Today we're going to talk about baseball and softball field orientation and layout. There are many different types of baseball and softball field, um, and it, right from the parks and rec, municipal, high school, collegiate and professional level. And some of the differences among them can be that some fields will have a clay infield, as you can see with the fields on the left. Some of them will have a grass and clay infield, as you can see bottom right. And some fields, this is more common, uh, getting, becoming more common now, that some fields are actually comprised of synthetic turf. As we go through, we'll state that each governing body of each sports association will determine the layout and arrangement of these fields, but there are some common threads throughout. As far as terminology, um, on, these ba on these ball fields, there's typically a home plate where the batter will stand and then there's a first, second, third base. Uh, pitcher's mound will be between home plate and second base where the, um, the pitcher, who, the person that throws the ball, will stand and then throw the ball from. And then, as I said, we have the outfield, which typically comprises of synthetic or natural grass. And then the infield is typically grass and clay or just clay. As far as field orientation, um, the ball fields are typically orientated so that the sun sets between third base dugout and home plate. This is so that the afternoon sun does not shine into the batter's eyes. Rule number 1.04 of Major League Baseball states, It is desirable that the line from home plate through the pitcher's plate to second base shall run east to northeast. Now in reality, ballparks are orientated in all different ways and many do not follow that rule. The location is sometimes determined by things like prevailing wind and the space available for the stadium. The size of the ball field is determined by the league that uses it. For example, infields of high school through major league level are generally 90 feet square. Parks and Rec and Pony League are 80 feet square and little league infields are 60 feet square. In many different leagues, if uh, many different leagues use the same field, it can be a challenge, but there are things that can be done, like having a clay infield so that bases can be moved between league games. The pitcher's mound poses a greater challenge uh, because they are impossible to change. There are, however, pitcher's mounds that are portable and can be swapped out and pinned down between games. The pitcher's mound comprises of a flat area or table at the top of the mound with the pitching rubber positioned front center. The area in front of the table is sloped one inch for every foot of run. We'll talk about more about the pitcher's mound later. The height of the pitcher's mound and the distance from the pitching mound to home plate also differs between leagues. At the high school to major league level, the pitcher's mound is 10 inches above the level of home plate. This is reduced to 8 inches above for pony league and 6 inches above for little league. At the high school to major league level, the distance between the apex of home plate and the front center of the pitching rubber is 60 feet and 6 inches. Pony league is a distance of 54 feet, little league a distance of 46. Each sports governing body will have their own set of dimensions. When laying out and positioning bases on a field, it is important to always measure from the apex of home plate, shown here. First base de is determined by measuring from the apex of home plate to the back right corner of first base. Second base is determined by measuring from the back right of first base to the centre of second base. Third base is determined by measuring from the apex of home plate to the back corner of third base and from the back corner of third base to the centre of second base. A string line from the apex of home plate to the centre of second base is used to determine the centre line of the field. The centre line runs from the apex of home plate to the centre of second base, crossing the centre of the pitching mound or the pitching rubber. Again, the distance from the apex to the front centre of the pitching rubber 
will depend upon the group that uses the field. At the high school to major league level, that measurement is 60 feet and 6 inches. In summary, field orientation and dimensions of fields will vary depending on the league or the group that uses the field. The layout procedure, however, and the terminology is fairly consistent throughout each field.